Guild Wars 2 gold tracking has always been super annoying. Every add-on tracker that we have had has always been using the API. This means that because the API is so slow, it'll update every five minutes. And if you're finished a meta, for example, and you're done with your farm, you're gonna have to wait until five minutes afterwards to actually see how much gold you made. And this will obviously ruin the gold per hour as well. But with DRF, an add-on that we got him from a few months ago, and this new Blish HD module that binds it together with it, you can have a gold per hour creator, a farming tracker with getting every item you have gotten in your session instantly into your game and not having to go to any website. Let's talk about it. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Go to my Confi if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So as you can see here, I have my little open, uh, my farming tracker right here, right? Uh, you can see that I have zero profit per hour, zero profit at all. But as soon as I, look, my inventory is horrible, guys, so it is what it is. But as soon as I create anything, for example, I'm going to be salvaging all this stuff. And salvaging is not worth, oh, there we go, there it is. All gets updated and um, it tells me how, what, which things i gotten for all of this salvaging. And of course, also uh, the gold I've gotten per hour and the exact, uh, same, exact same amount of gold. It also tells me uh, which items I've lost and how many currencies I've lost as well. So everything is here. You can reset it whenever you want. Eventually, we're going to have a timeline of when all of these, you know, items have appeared in my in in the game, right? Whenever I've, I've acquired them, you have a filter to see um, all of these other things to show, you know, not show certain things you don't want, like Master War Gear or Final Mirror or trophies or whatever you want. Uh, you can also sort all the items that appear there in the way that you want with rarity, with item type, with profit per item, vendor profit per item, all of the things you want. You can put at and ignore so certain items don't show. For example, let's say that you're doing Death Brand and Shatter and you're trying to see how much gold it makes, but you got a, a very big drop or you got the, the infusion, right? You can just put the uh, the item to ignore here and you will not be able to, uh, they will not destroy your data. And of course, also you can change the color of the entire uh, add-on and everything. And it's it's super cool. It's it's super, super nice. I really love this add-on. And the fact that it's not in a website, it's just inside of the game. It's super, super cool. Because the way that this works is that it uses another add-on that you actually used to have, used to use called DRF. And DRF would actually show you, <clears throat> would actually show you everything you have gotten in this little website, right? Which was nice, but it kind of sucked to have to go in here and, you know, open the, the browser and put the RF and go into the dashboard and go here to check. And for example, sometimes it would lag out <laughs> because, I don't know, you have RAM problems with your browser and you would refresh and you would, like, you know, lose your data or whatever. That happened to me a few times and it really, really sucked, right? But now, but now with this add-on, all of the information from that a website from your DLL that goes there will be transmitted into this farming tracker for you to see it in game and instantly without having to go there. Now, how do you actually install this? Or well, you're gonna have to use the DRF add-on, which you're gonna have to install right here. And you're gonna have to download the DLL and <coughs> put it on your uh, folder of Guild Wars 2 by using the RDPS method, which is just putting the add-on in the same folder as RDPS is located in, which is usually you know, just go into Guild Wars 2 uh, here and you just copy it right there. <laughs> or you can go into, if you don't have that, add-ons, RDPS, Guild Wars 2 add on RDPS.dll, where this is, you put the uh, the DLL of the RF, right? And the other option, which is probably the best and, uh, yeah, it's the better option uh, for me and honestly for everyone, is the add-on manager. Pers uh, specifically, I would recommend you using Nexus as is the best add-on manager um, there is, in my opinion, and I'll link a link in the description a uh, video on how to install that one but whichever one works for you it's fine once you install that add-on of course add-on manager you want to go into the guild wars 2 into add-ons and just post it right here put the DL dll right there like you can see that i've done it right there and uh you'll be ready then of course you're gonna have to restart the game <coughs> and well make an account in order to be able to track this uh, after this you're gonna have to go into blish hud uh blish hud Go into model, module repository, get session tracker. Why not? Uh, session tracker is the other one. My bad. Uh, farming tracker. There you go. And um, 
update to the current version. Now, if you cannot see Farming Tracker, you might have to reinstall Blizzard 2D as they got an update. And uh, this might be the reason why, you, uh, why you, it's not showing, because it didn't show for me uh, the first time. And, and after this, you're going to have to go into your Farming Tracker here, go into Settings, and connect your DRF with the key that the um, your account has, right? You're going to have to go to Settings. I'm not going to show it right now, because I don't want to show my exact... <laughs> My exact uh, AP, my exact code, but you just put it in here. It'll give you a uh, a tutorial here as well, and you'll be done. If this isn't enough for you to install this uh, add-on and of course the add-on manager, don't worry. I have two guides: one for Nexus and one for DRF that you can go check if they have any questions. And of course, also comment down below if you have any issues. And well, that that that's it. That's the. Uh, that is the beautiful, beautiful add-on, and uh, man, it's just, it's really a game changer because it's kind of annoying to do all this stuff, but having this little open farming tracker that you can reset whenever you want, you can just do any activity and check it instantly, it's super nice. And this way, honestly, it's super nice for everyone to see how much gold they're making um, without having to go to any website to check on fast or whatever, or to, you know, go into your efficiency of all the other stuff. You can just go in here, check it, be done with it and know how much gold you're making. Super, super fun. Now, it is an add-on that technically isn't really... What's the word? I won't say permitted, but Inet has never said that it's okay to use the DLL of the RF. But a lot of people use it. I use it on stream. And uh, even the developer of this add-on has talked about the fact that, hey, if Arinet and they even have it in their... Uh, in their website, right? If Arena has any problems with this add-on, just contact them and they'll change whatever they have to change for it to be according to Arena's guidelines. And the fact that Arena has not done anything with it, I think it's pretty safe to use. Uh, and don't worry, uh, if I if anyone's gonna get banned for this, it's gonna be me as I stream with it every day. But I've been using this, you know, I've been using this um, for a long time. I have Arena people in my chat, in my game. I have been rated by Teapot with thousands of people, uh, of viewers, and using this add-on, and no one has ever said anything, and no one has ever told me anything about it, so I think it's pretty safe to say that there's no issues with it. But, uh, it's your, you know, you can decide yourself on what to do, uh, but yeah, there you go. If you don't feel comfortable using this add-on, if you want, you can just go into the module repository and get your session tracker. Uh, it will be used with the API, which will make it way slower and way less useful but you can do this and you'll be inside of the game so there you go that's around all i have for you guys tell me if you like the tool tell me if you're gonna use it tell me if it works for good for you and if there's any questions on how it works or it doesn't the installing doesn't really work just tell me you know, put a comment down below and i'll try to help uh, you can also go to the discords of these um developers i'll leave them in the description down below as much as long as much as long well as well as my guides for these add-ons uh for drf and uh for nexus so you guys can can go check it out and uh yeah there you go subscribe to the channel for more content like this go to su go support every one of these add-on creators because they really deserve it considering they're making our lives easier and uh go to my twitch to watch me live see you guys around love you all bye bye